Good morning, G Dub fam. It's your girl Mika, and I am back with another video. So this is a new segment. Welcome to TTT time, Tamika Top Topics. And as y'all see, this is gonna be a pretty interesting um title. So as y'all know, this is my birthday. I'm out and about, and I'm at a friend's house. I have arrived safe and sound, thank God. I'm in my little room here and i was thinking about you guys and i said you know what i need to do a video so um excuse me for the lighting you guys it's a little dark in here but it's okay um and i said i was thinking about my topic and y'all know i asked you guys uh early on what is it that y'all would like to hear me talk about <clears throat> excuse my voice and i got some good um feedback for us like the topic with um about Christian Christian women and sex appeal. Um, and also about me talking about um, heartbreak and my journey and how God has blessed me. Well, I decided to go on, as you can see, about the topic as the Christians and sex appeal. Okay. Now, everybody may not agree with with this, but I'm going to give you what the Bible told me in Second. In uh, First Timothy two and nine, where it says, "Let the women uh, dress in modest apparel, and not of braiding the hair and with gold." And grab my Bible real quick, you guys, because I want to read it exactly what it is. Okay, so. First Timothy 2 and 9. Here we go. In like manner also, let women adorn themselves in modest apparel, uh, with shamefacedness and soberty, not with braided hair or gold or pearls or costly array, but which becometh women professing godliness with good works. And then I went to First Peter 3 and 4 in King James Version, a Holy Bible. Uh, First Peter 3 and 4. And it says, hold tight, y'all. Here I come. Okay, first Peter three and four. It says, But let it be the hidden man of the heart and that which is not corruptible, even the ornaments of a meek and quiet spirit, which is which is in the sight of God of of great price. For after this manner in the old times the holy women also who trusted in God adorned themselves, being in subjection unto their own husbands. Okay. So what I'm getting from that is that it's nothing wrong. I, I don't it's nothing wrong with women dressing to keep yourself looking nice. As you can see I mean, I looks nice, but I'm not doing it to get men's attention or to, you know, try to get a man. I, I'm I'm doing it because it makes me feel good. And it's a such thing as being holy, Christian women. When you're when you dress, it is to it's a modest apparel, meaning it's not flashy, it's not vulgar, and it can be um appealing but not trashy you feel what i'm saying what a holy woman is to do is to adorn herself with meekness soberness um being you know little shy stand off a sham face you know kind of like that that's that's the kind of a woman that god would want us to be to where 
when a man see us, he see Jesus. See, oh, say, say in five, it says, for after this manner in the old times, the holy women also who trusted in God, the holy women who trusted, who, who, whom also who trusted in God are during themselves being subject unto their own husbands. So like those that are married, they, you know, Subject to their own husbands. And for me, I take it as a because I'm not married. I'm subject to God, who is my 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 Lord, my husband. You know, he's my my he's everything to me, God is. So I'm being subject to him and you know, I dress accordingly and I let God, you know. I let him uh cause see the Bible says he beautified the meek with salvation. So by me being um, a save and you do the things that God tell you to do, and according to you, you will um, be beautified with with just salvation on your life. People can come up and see it, and they will see that light that shines from you. So I don't think I think there's a difference between uh, being uh, sexy and 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 just having sex appeal and then just being sexy and just being trashy. Okay, it's a big difference. I mean, I... And, and this is just off strip. I'm going to close my Bible. Let me just tell y'all some stuff. First of all, when it comes down to uh, Christians, a, a, a woman of God is to carry herself as such. That's just the way I feel about it. Um, When I... I'm talking about Tamika. When I was in the world, I dressed like the world. You know what I mean? When I went to the club, I had on my little dress, and the boobs out, you know, all this kind of stuff. And now that I have came over into Christ, I want people to see a difference in me. So, therefore, you're not going to see me with a thigh-high miniskirt on where you can almost see up my thighs because I want to. See, we are to be our brother's keeper. Now, we're not saying that he can't control himself, but you don't want to do something that would tempt them. You don't want to do nothing to make them lust. You don't want to do nothing to make your brother sin and vice versa with the men. You know, you shouldn't be walking around wearing your pants super, super tight. You are your sister's keeper as well. Men, men of God, women of God, this is who I'm talking to. I'm not talking to the people who's not. I'm talking to the ones who are and who are claiming to be saved, who are claiming to be a believer, and they, I'm, that's who I'm talking to, I'm talking to us, I'm talking to the ones who uh, know that, that we're into, it's a certain way that you dress when you are claiming Christ, people should see a difference, you feel what I'm saying, and just because I, I'm dressed like this, I think this is nice and sexy, I mean, I'm, a, I'm, I'm, I'm dressed up, I don't look terrible my hair is done and i don't look you know crazy and i mean like i mean i i've dressed fully clothed like this and have have gotten men attention i mean they have looked my way but i'm saying i don't go around with my boobs all out my stress all up my butt you know you know just to because what message is you sending like what is you doing i mean so it's a way so I believe that being fully clothed, dressed like this, this is I feel it's sexy. And when I wear something that's a uh that that fits but not tight, to where you could see what I ate br for that ate breakfast that morning, you could see what it was. No, but just something that compliments you and it looks nice on you. It fits nice. It fits classy and holy. You look holy. You know that's the thing. And then I know it's not all about that either because some people can look real holy on the inside. They're not, but I'm just saying if you're claiming God and if you are a woman of God, I do believe that there is a certain standard that we are held to and um, it, we, we are to, we are to initiate that. I mean, we are to act in that and that do comes with how you dress, how you act and how you talk and so, so, um, I do believe that Christians can be, um, um, I'm not going to say sexy because sexy is like a term of like getting in the bed, you know, but I'm going to say attractive. It is where women can be, Christian women can be uh, dressed up and look attractive, you know, to me. And also, 
But what we don't want to do is focus just on that for us, what we wear. So that what, what, what should make holy women of God, Christian women, appealing to men is the meekness of salvation. The way they carry themselves, the way they talk, the, you know, the glow of God, them searching God and seeking God. And that comes through that. The, the shine and the honor and favor on your life from God is what attract the man that you want. You feel what I'm saying? The man that you want in your life. So, um, yeah, bottom line, you see God and and uh, everything else. So, come. So, that's just my thought on it, you guys. I do believe that women can be uh, 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 appealing and attractive. And Christian and sex appeal do work hand in hand. Because if a man did not, if, if Christians did not feel sexy or look sexy or did nobody see them in that light, there would be no babies. You feel me? I mean, we wouldn't have no kids. So I'm going to be real and say, yes, we do have certain sex appeal, but the sex appeal is in, is aligned up with moral values and how we're supposed to, and Christian values and how we're supposed to carry ourselves. So anybody got anything else to say on this topic? Y'all, y'all go ahead and hit me in the comment section below. Um, and I just want to say this, this might be all time, but I do want to say this. I feel like there's a certain uh, way to dress when you go to the house of the Lord. I mean, I'm not going to go to the house of the Lord in a see-through skirt, um, you know, because it's about respect. And not just them, but respecting you and respecting God when you come into his house, you want to... You're coming for a word. You're not coming for people to, to look at you. So you need to be dressed accordingly. I mean, when I went to the club, I dressed as such. When I went to a picnic outside, I dressed in some shorts. And when I went saved, you know, in some shorts and some tennis shoes and stuff. You dress according to the occasion. So when I go to church, I have I dress according. I put me on a nice little dress, a long skirt, you know, shirt, making sure this is out, you know, this is covered. It don't have to be, because see, I don't got this up to my neck, but you can't see my boobs neither. I, I don't have my dress all the way down to my ankles, but it's over my knee. You feel me? So when I sit down or if I the spirit touch me and I get the bucket, you're not going to see up, up, my, up my dress. So that's all I'm saying. Just be like-minded, you guys. Be like-minded when you go to, to service because it's, it's not even about... You you don't want the attention to be on you. You don't want to be a distraction. You want people to come there and get what they came for, which is God, and get the word. And so, yeah. So, anyway, you guys, I love y'all so, so, so much. I thank y'all for hanging in there with me. Thank you for your patience. I thank you for just being awesome, you know. And I got my hair done, y'all. You see? I got the purple in there. Yes, I. But, anyway. I can't see on this side. But, anyway. So, we'll talk about Golden Warriors. I salute y'all. May y'all continue to walk in promise. The promise that God has for your life. And I'll see y'all later. Bye-bye.